as you have seen uh, the uh, reversal of dna damage uh, by using single enzymes but there are many mechanisms many type of dna damages cannot be repaired by a single enzyme that catalyzes direct damage reversal instead repair requires the participation of several different enzymes each performing a specific task in a multi step pathway damage to dna base is caused by deamination oxidation and alkylation is mainly repaired by one such multi step pathway which is called base excision repair or ber ber pathway is same in all the organisms enzymes involved in the base excision repair pathway also participate in the repair of single stranded break in dna so uh, these enzymes which are uh, in uh, involved in uh, ber pathway they can also repair single stranded breaks base excision repair derived its name from the first step in the pathway that is n glycosyl bond cleavage so in this pathway the first step is the cleavage of n glycosyl uh, bond and by the cleavage of this bond the base is removed nitrogenous base is removed or excised from the dna helix so that's where uh, why it is called base excision pathway this cleavage excises the damaged or inappropriate base from the dna to form an abasic site that is a site without any base because no single enzyme can distinguish the four bases present in dna from a wide variety of altered bases you know uh, there are many types of altered bases and uh, four types of normal bases so uh, no single enzyme can uh, make distinction between all these uh, nitrogenous bases so cells must use many different enzymes to perform this function some n glycosylases are monofunctional enzymes with only the ability to excise a damaged base they have only one function that is to recognize the damaged base and to excise that base such enzymes are called dna glycosylases while other n glycosylases have an ap lyase activity that cleaves the bond between sugar and the phosphate 3 prime to the damaged site so these uh, glycosylases can uh, introduce a cut this enzyme is designated as dna glycosylase lyase so here uh, you can see this is the reaction catalyzed by dna glycosylase which is a monofunctional enzyme so this is uh, uh, a dna with damaged base this is here a damaged base is present and this damaged base is linked with the sugar through this uh, glycosyl bond so in this reaction this damaged base is directly removed and here an a basic site is present so because the damaged base which was present here that has been removed so this is an a basic dna so in this way dna glycosylase uh, works so this is uh, the example of uh, reaction catalyzed by dna glycosylase lyase activity so in this case again this is damaged base and this base is directly removed after uh, the excision after the cleavage of uh, uh, this glycosyl uh, bond this bond and uh, this dna is produced with a basic site there is no base okay so the second uh, step is uh, the cleavage of this bond this 3 prime linkage between phosphate group and the sugar so this bond is cleaved so in this way this dna glycosylase it uh, 
performs two types of functions that is n glycosyl cleavage and this uh, ester bond cleavage both types of enzymes detect the damaged base flip it out of the dna helix into an active site pocket of the enzyme and then cleave the n glycosyl bond although some uh, glycosylases excise a specific base most of these enzymes uh, have a somewhat broader specificity they can uh, excise number of bases the e coli enzyme uracil n glycosylase that is ung is specific that is specific only for uracil while uh, another e coli n glycosylase which is 3 methyl adenine dna glycosylase which is also called lk a it acts on 3 or 7 methyl purines 3 or 7 ethyl purine ethyl adenine and o2 methyl pyrimidine so it has very broader specificity it can act on a number of uh, altered bases so a null mutation in a gene that codes for a dna glycosylase or dna glycosylase lyase is not lethal which probably reflects overlapping functional abilities among the glycosylases